Hey everyone, what's up? It's Christina, and today I'm going to be showing you my all-natural skin routine that I've been using for two years. So this is basically a follow-up to um, a previous video I did on how I cleared my acne, and now I'm going to show you the full routine. All the products that I use, um, they all have some sort of purpose to my skin, so you're not just putting on products just to put on products. So I really hope you find this helpful, and if you guys have any questions, um, just leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them, but let's get started. What I use to wash my face is raw manuka honey, and I have ex um, explained this in my old video, and this was one of the main things that cleared my face. And I just grab, you know, this much, maybe a little less, and just rub it between my hands, and then I'll just kind of rub it on my face, kind of massage it in like you would any normal cleanser. And this is great because it's naturally very moisturizing and like I mentioned in my um, last video, um, immediately like overnight I saw a lot of my like pimples kind of disappear or become smaller in size in this and it's sweet, you can taste it. <laughs> and normally I would leave this on for about a minute before I wash it off. You can use this as a mask too, sometimes I would put... Uh, turmeric or cumin which makes my skin super smooth if you leave it on for about 20 minutes but I will definitely do another video on masks that I use as well you can either wash this off you know just with your hands um, or with a washcloth um, sometimes I like to use a washcloth because it gets most of the sticky residue out and this is a microfiber um, cloth so it won't really be that harsh against your skin what I do next is I tone my face. I've been using theirs for two years um, and I've got so many of my friends hooked on this. You can find this um, in any health store, um, any health grocery store and they're about ten dollars a pop. A pop. Ten dollars a bottle. I don't know why you said that word. And they have a few different um, scents um, I have lavender right now, but they also have rose and cucumber, um, and I just kind of switch off. And it's non-alcoholic, um, and it's all natural ingredients, which I really love because there are a lot of companies and brands and products that claim it's all natural, but then when you look at the ingredients, you know, it's all this like mumbo jumbo that I've never heard of, and that's why I always, always, always look at the label and read it, and theirs is one of the only stuff that I've been using, especially for toners. I'm definitely um, trying to figure out how to uh, make my own toner and what kind of works with my skin. And I have been considering apple cider vinegar, but I'm still very skeptical because it is very, very acidic. Even, like, I wouldn't even put lemon on my face, even no matter how much I dilute it, especially with sensitive skin. So, I don't know, I'm still really iffy on trying to use apple cider vinegar. I know it does, is it is great for acne and people have seen really great results, but I don't really want to damage my skin in the long run. Because I've used it to clean my bathroom and when I mix it with baking soda, it just started like making this all this fizzy noise and I'm like, damn, <laughs> if, if that <laughs> makes my toilet go like that, I wonder what it's doing to my face, you know, but I don't know. Uh, I might try. So I'll just take a cotton pad and I'll take a little bit of this toner and I just love toning my face because it really gets rid of any excess gunk or anything you didn't really get off from your face before. And this is just like my normal everyday routine. You know, I have methods for exfoliating my face every week um, and that's probably something I'll talk about in another video. And then after that, I let it dry for a bit. And then my favorite step, my holy grail hemp seed oil. And I love this one because it has a little pump. And I've explained this in my last video. And it's really, really great because it's a long explanation. But basically, um, hemp seed oil is non Um so it won't clog your pores. And it has a high percentage of linoleic acid, which is something that acne-prone skin has been found lacking. So for many acne sufferers, this is a holy grail. And I have been using this in this... I would definitely say it's my number one um, acne solution because after this, it really did clear up my skin overnight. 
and with continuous use, you know, it will definitely clear up your skin. So I just took a pump of it, and it, I uh, should have showed you before, but it's like kind of like this green nutty thing. And it doesn't have the greatest of smell, but you know what, if it's working, who cares, right? <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of use this in place of a moisturizer, and a lot of people are skeptical because they're like, oh, well, I already have oily skin, blah, 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 I don't want to put more oil on my face, but... Just try it. I promise if you still think it's too oily for your skin, um, then don't use it, you know? But it's nothing wrong with just trying it. And actually, I used to have really oily skin, but when I changed my routine to a more natural routine, and I don't know if it's because of the hemp oil or everything else that I've changed about my skin, but my skin has been a lot less oily now. Um, so I don't really use like oil blotters anymore um, and actually it's become more normal combo almost like to even almost dry skin but um, this is a normal um, moisturizer that I use every day but um, I have been playing around with different creams during like the winter time when I do have drier skin now but this is what I use every single day and then I go into more spot treatments okay normally um, I would use tea tree oil to spot treat any like zits I have um, and a lot of people say that you should dilute it um, because it's really really strong and it really is but personally for me my skin can take it I have been using this for two years and I just dab it on right on my skin um, and nothing really you know inflamed my skin I didn't really have any harsh reactions so just using this at night because my dad gave me this anti-acne spot treatment this is an Asian brand. I think you can also get it online, but I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this um, after I'm done with it. I'm almost done with it. I've been using this, I don't know, for a really, really long time, probably more than six months, almost a year. Um, so then I, instead of using the tea tree oil in the morning, I use this um, in the morning in instead as a spot treatment because um, it's just, I guess, more gentle on my skin. Um, but it is really, really great all natural ingredients and it does contain tea tree. Normally I would just go in with this during the daytime or the tea tree if it's night. So um, it's daytime right now so I'm going to go in with this. And it's just this clear white gel and, and I just spot treat wherever you know you see pimples. Um, yeah so I was saying I'm not really sure if I would repurchase this because it is about like $30 for this little tube and it's only 0.63 fluid ounces so I mean I'm I'm okay with the, the just the, the tea tree itself and also um, if you have these like oil deposits under your eye um, like I do if you put them on like it will like after continuous usage um, it will naturally just come right off so if you have oil deposits like I do under my eyes, then tea tree oil is also great for that. For all the hyperpigmentation, I go in with organic rosehip oil, and I use the brand um, Herbal Choice Marie, which I've been using for a long time, and I love it, and this has lasted me <laughs> like a year. It's organic, cold press, and unrefined. And it is also very high in linoleic acid, so this is why I use this um, as a treatment for my hyperpigmentation because it also won't inflame my active acne. And it's also really low in the comedogenic rating, so it won't really clog your pores. Um, but rosehip oil is really, really great for um, anti inflammatory purposes but also I mix in turmeric with this because turmeric also has the same properties in the sense that it will definitely lessen all your red marks and all your hyperpigmentation so I highly highly recommend if you use rosehip oil or whatever you use to also put in some turmeric because I think after putting in turmeric it helped even more um, and a lot of my redness from before has gone down because that was one of my main problems like after my acne was basically gone like it still left a lot of redness um, so when I just discovered turmeric um, that was also kind of like a life-changing thing <laughs> so I, I just put it in the same bottle and I just like to shake it 
um, to get it all distributed. But don't put too much turmeric because turmeric is kind of um, staining to the skin. And one time I put too much turmeric and I tried washing it off. My face just turned orange and I went out with it and it was totally noticeable. So don't put that much. Um, if you want exact measurements, um, just leave a comment below and I will give you that. But I basically kind of eyed it. Um, so I kind of forget what the color of rosehip oil is but with the turmeric obviously it's like a little bit more on the yellowy side but it won't stain the skin if you don't put that much so i just kind of dab it on wherever i see hyperpigmentation you do want to be careful especially at night because it does stain your pillows so i highly suggest you either get a dark pillow um and it's not that noticeable if you put it on during the day Okay, so the last step, which is probably one of the most important steps that a lot of people will skip, is sun protection. Especially it's the summertime, and we would like to protect our beautiful face from the harmful UV rays. I have been trying to find like a natural sunscreen that would fit my skin type for the longest time, and a lot of natural sunscreens, they have like either shea butter or cocoa butter, which is for acne people not the best because either A, um, it clogs your pores, or B, um, it's not really high in linoleic acid. Um, and it's rather high in oleic acid, which is not good for acne prone skin. So then I started making my own, and you know, after a long time of experimenting, I think I finally found a formula that fits my skin. That's what I've been using lately. Um, I put it in this kind of like uglyish bottle, but it'll do. Um, but it has, only has three ingredients, which is perfect for the sun and also perfect for acne prone skin. Um, and it only has zinc oxide, which is the main active ingredient to protect yourself from the UV rays. And zinc oxide is considered one of the safest, um, you know, sun protectants out there as it is a mineral. So it's going to sit on top of your skin and it won't be soaked into your bloodstream, um, which a lot of other sun protectants get a lot of crap for because they do get soaked into your bloodstream and like titanium dioxide which isn't really the safest because there's been research that it's toxic yada 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 so zinc oxide yes it's definitely the safest um and there are a few brands out there that use zinc oxide but that's the ones with shea butter and cocoa butter and all those other oils that's not good for my skin so I also have hemp butter because you do kind of need like a thicker uh, ingredient um, so your sunscreen isn't super liquidy um, and it kind of gives it that creamy like lotiony feel from sunscreens. And then last is red raspberry seed oil and that oil is low in comedogenic ratings and um, it also has a high natural SPF so that's um, perfect for using it in a sunscreen and it's also like higher in linoleic acid than an oily acid so it's also great for that so just those three simple ingredients I don't need anything more and um, soon I will be selling these so uh, keep a lookout I will definitely attach a link to it when I have the product ready you just really need a little uh, just a little bit so it's about an SPF 50 and you know, a lot of people complain about zinc oxide because it can stain your skin white, but if you just like rub it in there good, it won't. And I also kind of like it because it makes your skin brighter, but you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. And that's it. That is my daily routine. And this is just a very basic fundamental, but it's something I've been using for two years now, uh, religiously. And I have other, you know, gimmicks and other stuff that I use, you know, like masks and exfoliation and other skincare stuff that I follow up on. Um, so I will definitely, you know, make other videos about that. And I've been wanting to do a everyday natural makeup routine. So keep a look out for that and if you have any questions concerns yeah, 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 leave them in the comments below because I would be very very happy to answer them I know sometimes I'm not the best at explaining but I try my best so um yeah and if you have any requests for any other videos because I 
have been more interested in skincare and all that, leave them below. Subscribe, like, yada yada yada. <laughs> and I will see y'all next time. Bye.